Welcome back. Today we will be dealing with contracture issues. Um, this can affect either the, the flexor tendons or the extensor tendons uh, and can also involve the fascia of the hand. So for individuals with Dupuytren's contracture, it is a contracture of the palm or fascia at the base MP joint pulling the fingers down into a claw-like hand. A lot of times they refer to it as a claw hand. So what you can do is um, apply continuous passive motion, which means something that is pulling on the backs of the fingers, stretching the flexor tendons back open with constant pressure to make them longer and longer and longer, stretching out the fascia and or the affected tendon if it is a tendon. Because sometimes you'll see people that have one affected finger. It's just pulled down into a claw-like motion. Not a triggering finger where it pops down, pops back up, but it, but it has to do with the shortening of the entire tendon. So um, this is where you can apply continuous passive motion. So if I have particular um, Dupuytren's contracture where my fingers are pulled down into flexion, I can tighten the back here, okay? And you can do it yourself. More likely you'll need someone else to tighten it down for you or you'll pre-tighten it. So what happens here is that as I pull on this and tighten this, it straightens my fingers more and more and more. So it's taking it from a claw position to a straightened position. Therefore, stretching the fascia as well as the individual tendon or tendons if they are shortened. If you have a single finger, now this is best for forehand if you're going to use you know, tightening it down where it's running through all the rings here. If you have an individual finger, I will hook down onto the back of either the wrist or the back of the hand here into this ring. And so what happens is it's taking my finger from flexion, pulling it back into extension. That continuous passive motion, okay? Um, you can do this several times a day for a half hour, an hour at a time, where it applies that constant tension to straighten from flexion into extension that you're really doing anything. You're just sitting there and the more and more bands and the tighter it is, the more it pulls your finger into a straightened position, therefore eliminating the contracture. Now, if you have the opposite, let's say if you have a flexor tendon that, um, or an extensor tendon that is locked straight, the rest of the fingers bend right here, going to flexion, my index finger won't. It's really, really stiff. I try to get it down and it really doesn't move. You can use full hand if you want, if it's multiple fingers like we did on the opposing side for Dupuytren's or you can use you know full hand here and pulling all the fingers down into flexion okay therefore eliminating the contracture that's on the back of the hand an extensor tendon that's keeping that finger from flexing or if it's a single finger once again you can just apply this simple little kit attach it to the particular finger that is affected. In this case, let's say it's my index finger. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to hook it onto a wrist ring and it'll pull that finger from extension like I can't bend it all the way down. So this will apply continuous pressure and pull my finger down into flexion. Therefore, reducing the contracture on the extensor tendon and eliminating the contracture issues. Continuous passive motion. And they're using this a lot in the clinics. The occupational therapists use it a lot. The physical therapists use it a lot. And it's something that you can actually apply and perform yourself. So by, doing, uh, by using this, again, if you have a single finger or full hand, whether it's flexion or extension issues, um, they can both be addressed. Thank you, and uh, we'll have something new for you here in the next couple of weeks.